Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Five players compete in a table tennis tournament such that each player plays every other player exactly once. There are no draws in these matches. In each game, both players have the same probability of winning, and the result of one game does not influence the outcome of the others. What is the probability that some player will win all of her games? This is adapted from the Brazilian Mathematical Olympiad. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. I will first present the long way to solve the problem by counting all of the different cases. Then I will present a short way by doing a probability sum calculation. So let's get started with the long way. There are five players which we will represent by five different nodes, x1 to x5. We can represent a match between two of the players by connecting the nodes with an edge. So this will be a match between players one and two. So the total number of matches will be the total number of edges that we can draw between five different nodes. We can draw this out and count it but we can also see that it will be equal to five choose two because we have five nodes and we're choosing two of them. This is equal to five times four over two, which is equal to 10. So there are 10 matches that are played. Now let's color these edges. We can color an edge blue if it's a win for player i less than j, and we'll color it red for a loss. So each of the different edges have two different colorings. So the total number of possibilities is equivalent to the total number of colorings. Now we have 10 edges with two different possibilities for each one. So that will be two to the 10 different colorings or two to the 10 different possibilities for the outcomes of these matches. Now let EI be the event XI wins all four of her games. So let's calculate the number of elements in E1. Now from node one, we need all four of these edges to be colored blue. There's only one way to do this. Now there are six remaining edges and each of these edges can be colored either blue or red. So that will be two to the six different ways we can color these edges. So the order of E1 is equal to two to the power of six. Now by the same logic, that's true for any of the other players. So we can calculate the order of E2, E3, E4, or E5. Now here's a key part of the problem. EI and EJ have an empty intersection. Why is that? So if player one wins all of her games, since player one has played all of the other players, that would deal a loss to all of the other players. So it's not possible that one of the players wins all their matches and some other player wins all of their matches. It must be that these are mutually exclusive events. So now we can count this. So we want the total number of E1, E2, E3, E4, and E5 divided by the total number of possibilities. This will be two to the six, plus 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 two to the six, all over two to the power of 10. So this is five times two to the power of six divided by two to the power of 10, which equals five divided by two to the power of four. And that gives us the answer of five over 16. Wow. So now let's do a shortcut and solve it in a quicker way. We'll use the same notation as before. Now what's the probability that some player wins all four games? It'll be one half times one half times one half times one half because each of the four games has a probability of one half of winning the game. So this is equal to one divided by two to the power of four. Now, as we argued before, EI and EJ have an empty intersection, so, we want the probability of the union of E1 to E5. Since the events are mutually exclusive, this will be the sum of the probabilities of each of the events. Each of the events has probability one over two to the power of four. And this is true for five events. So this will be equal to five divided by two to the power of four, which is equal to five over 16. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.